female president. And I'm sure there are all sorts of guesses that come through looking at the political front that we have. But it's not just about politics we're talking about here. It's about a new show that's going to be premiering on KTN Home uh, between 8 and 9 p.m. tomorrow. And it is called Miss President. And I am joined this morning by Fanny Joey, who is a program producer, basically to indulge us and let us know a little bit more about Miss President. So thank you for joining us, Fanny. Very interesting program, uh, Miss President. Tell me, what is it all about? Are we actually looking for a female president for 2022? <laughs> well, yes. Miss President is about finding, helping Kenyans find their first female president. I don't know if it's going, she's going to come in 2022 or she's going to come in the next election cycle. Mm -hmm. But definitely it's about Kenya finding its first ever female president so in terms of the context of the show there is going to be a female president and this will be what you'll be unveiling at the end of the show yes so miss president is a reality tv show where women leaders from across kenya and i mean from across all the 47 counties competing for the title miss president so they have a model kenya where they take up different roles like cabinet secretaries mm -hmm. they take up the roles of the president take up the roles of you know mp and form a government mm -hmm. and then of course the best leader throughout the series um gets to win miss president and wow. also the other thing about this reality show it's not just entertainment and it's not just showing you the faces of new uh, women who can be leaders in this country. Mm -hmm. There's also an academy, Miss President Academy, where the women go through leadership training. Mm -hmm. They learn to understand the constitution of this country. They learn to understand how the economy runs. And they learn to understand everything about Kenyan leadership, and especially Chapter 6. Integrity. Okay. Integrity. Okay. Yes. So let me just understand this fully. There's going to be a selection of women who've come together who want to run in this uh, particular show. It's a reality show, yes. uh, which operates in form of what? Elimination? Yes. Mm -hmm. So people get eliminated as they look, go so along. So how do you so come up with the, uh, who, who decides who stays and who goes? There are judges. Mm -hmm. uh, some judges are resident and some judges will be guests. They'll be coming onto the show once in a while. Some of the judges are experts in the, some of the assignments that the women will be given. Mm -hmm. So the judges have a lot of say in who stays at Miss President Academy and who leaves. But the most important part is that Kenyans will have the main say because towards the end of the show, they will actually vote wow. for their first female president. It sounds very interesting and it sounds like a completely new concept I've not heard of this before so this should be exciting um, but you did mention that they have model um, maybe exercises that are going to be given yes. and how have this been crafted because I'm imagining for them to prove their worth and to mm -hmm. prove how good they are in leadership they would have to do practical exercises that will prove to Kenyans that this is your next female president wannabe. Yeah. Yes. So some of the practical exercises are addressing Kenya's, some of Kenya's current challenges like violent extremism. Just recently, it was very sad. We had an attack at Deceit and we've had at Westgate and many other places. So violent extremism is one of the core issues that this um, uh, program is addressing. But you're also addressing other issues like labor rights, you know. Uh, a lot of Kenyans are out of employment and even the ones who are in employment? Do they have fair remuneration? Do they have benefits? So this is some of the things that the women will be addressing. They'll be addressing issues in the economy. Um, how do, do they understand how the economy runs? Do they understand what it means when there is inflation? And if they were the president, how could they work with the CS um, in, in that area to make decisions? Do, are they able to consult? Are they leaders who just you know wake up and make decrees? Or are they leaders who understand how how government runs, who should be consulted, and when they should take charge if they're president. Mm -hmm. And I'm imagining now for the mm -hmm. public, this should also give us a very good learning opportunity to see how some things should be run. Definitely. Uh, this is a very good opportunity for Kenyans to get to understand the role of their president uh, because they'll be able to see that, you know, the president is not there to, you know, pay your school fees, or the, your MP is not there to uh, contribute to your funeral contribution 
contributions, but what is the role of your MP to sit in Parliament and to legislate? And I think this is some of the challenges we have uh, facing Kenyans during elections, mm -hmm. where we do not know the roles of our elected representatives. Mm -hmm. What should they be doing? Mm -hmm. So sometimes a lot of Kenyans expect their leaders to do what they're not supposed to be doing. And so there seems to be a lot of confusion. So I'd really urge all Kenyans to watch this show because it's not just the women leaders on the show who are learning, but also us as Kenyans will be learning to know what do we expect our CSs to do, what should we expect from our MP, and what should we expect from the president. So that when it comes to the real election, you're not just voting based on who looks good on the billboard, but you're voting based on competence. the track record of the person you're voting for and competence, as now, you say. A, an area which I would be interested to know how it's going to play out, because we must admit mm -hmm. that a presidential position is political. Yes. And what you've defined so far is very uh, technocrat in terms of this is execution, this is exactly how it's uh, mm -hmm. uh, supposed to be done. Mm -hmm. But in the program, how will politics play out? Because that's normally part of a very exciting yeah. um, part of you know, governance in terms of seeing how you get a leader. Politics has to play in place. Actually, the women get a chance to campaign for themselves. So they have to come up with a team that's running their presidential campaign. Within, They're, from, from among From the among people? themselves when they have to work in teams. And at the very last episodes, they actually go out to campaign among Kenyans. So they'll be moving around the country. They'll also have a presidential debate. So it's really going to be real politics because that's the, what the intention of the show is, mm -hmm. to help Kenyans begin to visualize that it's actually possible to have a woman, a quality woman, a qualified woman, a competent woman mm -hmm. running for president of this country. So there's going to be plenty of real politics on Playing the show out right there yes. okay and that should be exciting now another question would be regarding uh, the reason why we possibly have not had a female president so far it could also have um, a reason edged on the fact that we are very patriarchal society does the program address this because it's fine to have it's not that we do not have leaders or women that can be president but because of certain situations they've not come to the top one of them being the fact that we're very patriarchal does the program address this actually the program miss president is founded on the kenyan constitution 2010 the two-thirds gender principle i'm sure you've been following what's been happening in parliament of late it's just become impossible to make this a reality we have quite a number of women in the national assembly in the senate and at the county assemblies but it's not the numbers have not met the two-thirds gender principle and because of that we are nominating more women to occupy these elective seats and that has contributed to the wage bill debate and now Kenyans are beginning to think is it becoming too expensive to have women in parliament but the solution is just elect the women and that's why we are presenting you some of Kenya's best women so people can begin to think twice you know there, there's been a lot of um, you know stereotypes about women that you know they, they need to stay at home because they're going to take care of babies yes they can do that and a lot of women have been doing that really well but we cannot confine women to that space only there is so much more that they have to offer and I'm sure if you watch Miss President you're going to see this and so it's time for Kenyans to start electing women leaders because that's what our Constitution says I mean if we are not following our very own Constitution then I, I don't know what we are up to in this country. All right, and, and, yeah. and there's no telling what is really going to happen after, you know, the program in terms of whoever will emerge as Miss President for the show, <laughs> uh, whether they'll get into politics and all that. But what, what does the show envisage in terms of what do they reward them with? Will they help them run for 2022, perhaps? This is the surprise part. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to spoil the surprise for the winner mm -hmm. to be of Miss President. But what we are sure about is Miss President, uh, the bearer of the title, is going to have a very senior ambassadorial role when it comes to leadership, not just women leadership, mm -hmm. but leadership in this country, because there is a lot that needs to improve when it comes to Kenyan leadership. I know we've had, you know, challenges where some of our political leaders are accused of corruption, and some of our political leaders, you know, have had a lot of baggage to deal with. So it is time to, you know, show Kenyans that, you know, we are moving in the right direction, and we have leaders of 
integrity in this country who can take care of Kenya's interest locally and globally. All right. And how long is the program supposed to run? Um, so we have 26 episodes. Wow. So um, I, I'm sure our viewers will be very excited about this. Mm -hmm. And this will run up to about August this year. Okay. And yes. how many women are we starting with? Because, uh, I mean, one, mm -hmm. there's only going to be one who's going to be Miss President. Definitely. But how many are we starting with? We started with the whooping 71. Wow. That's a huge number. Yes. Yeah, so the so competition the judges do have stiff. a lot on their hands. Yes. The competition is very Apart stiff. Apart from towards the end, because uh, mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned that towards the end of the, the, the program, there were... Uh, the public will participate in deciding who Miss President is. What role does the public have? The public have to watch these women because they have to make a decision based on competency. Mm -hmm. So I really encourage them to follow these women through and to see how they grow. I've interacted with these women from the beginning when we were doing auditions across the country. And some of them, when we started, they looked weak. But actually, they're very strong and they have so much to offer. So with just enough training mm -hmm. and they, be, they grow more confident. So it would be really interesting to see how they grow from leaders who think, oh, I'm not ready, into leaders who think, I am the next female president. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm going to be the first female president of Kenya. Mm -hmm. So please watch them throughout so that when you finally get to vote for them, you're voting based on this person's competence. All right. And for it to be beginning to, uh, tomorrow yeah. night, I assume that the auditions have already been done. But maybe let us know, how did you go about the auditions? Because one of the challenges that might be there mm -hmm. is that you have a selection from uh, the urban Nairobi sector as opposed mm -hmm. to, you know, a countrywide um, selection. You'll be surprised to see brilliant, excellent candidates from Kilifi County, from Kwale County, from Marsabit, because what we actually did is we went across all the 47 counties and we had what we called Mashinani Ambassadors. And these were people who were working for Media Focus on Africa to spread the word in every single county that women should apply. So I can promise you, we have the face of Kenya represented. You have represented. the face of Kenya represented. All yes. right. We want to wind up, but maybe just give us now details of if we really want to watch this show, timings, uh, what days does it uh, show after that? After, yes. after the premiere tomorrow yeah. uh, so that we can be locked. Great. So you should stay.